Welcome back, everyone. This is Al from Al's Wonderless Adventures. In this episode, we visit the Mall of Asia and Starbucks in Tagaytay. Why Starbucks? Well, this Starbucks has an awesome view of the smallest and the most active volcano in the world. The name of the volcano is Tall Volcano. Also, we start a three-day road trip to Luzon's Northwest Provinces. So join us on this adventure, and I'll see you when we get there. Thanks to Wilbur and Errol, they drove us to the Mall of Asia. I noticed the mall looked like any other U.S. mall, but one significant difference is they had security carrying weapons, and they checked your bags prior to going into the mall. We had lunch at the Olive Garden, then we went to Starbucks in Tagaytay, which I think they have the best view of Tall Volcano, which is the smallest and most active volcano in the world. After church services, we decided to have breakfast at Jollibee. My dear, I'm gonna go to Jollibee. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Jollibee is a flagship brand of Jollibee Foods Corporation, the largest and fastest growing Asian restaurant company in the world. With 70 stores in North America, 1,500 stores across the globe, and many more yet to come. Their mission is to spread the joy of eating. To my aunt, she planned a three-day road trip to visit Luwag, historical town of Vigan, La Union, Baguio, and Pangasinan. We departed the house at 11 p.m. to avoid the traffic in Manila. When we stopped at and took a rest break, majority of the gas station restrooms did not have toilet seats or provide any toilet paper. On 6.30 a.m. we arrived at Managua, Pangasinan, the shrine of Our Lady of Managua. Our Lady of Managua actually refers specifically to an ivory statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary brought from Spain by Al Capoco in the early 17th century to the Philippines by Padre Juan de San Juanito, now located in the shrine in the church. Hi, thanks. Decided to have breakfast at Lisa's restaurant in Pangasinan. As you can see here, they had a wide variety of Filipino snacks for sale. My understanding, Pangasinan is well known for their fish sauce. We got the crew in the back. Hello, hi. We are meeting Dorado Lawa to see our uh, ancestor there, where our roots come from. It's a big city. Roger. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Roger. Hi, Mano, Roger. Yeah. I know you're watching this, so. Yeah. Hello. Up. Hello, I miss Hello, Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta get some Hello, Hello today. Hello, Hello. Some uh, pie, book oh, pie. Book pie. Hey. 
Okay, thank you. <laughs> Wag is the birthplace of my grandmother. Wag City is the capital of the province of Ilocos Norte. Wag means light or brightness, also popularly known as the Sunshine City. Behind me is Poe Church. Also known as St. Augustine Church, is a Roman Catholic church in the municipality of Poe de los Cos Norte in the Philippines. The building started in 1694 and was completed in 1710. In 1973, the church was declared a national cultural treasure by the Philippine government and the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Augustine Church is also considered the oldest church in the Philippines, that is, made out of stone. We arrived in Vigan, the first stop of our three-day road trip to the historic town of Vigan, was established in the late 1500 during the Spanish domination of the Philippines and still has the same look and feel hundreds of years later. Vigan is the capital of Los Sur in the northwest of Luzon. Vigan is best preserved example of a planned Spanish colonial town in Asia. We also notice Vegan had Kalesa rides. Kalesa is a horse-drawn carriage. This is the perfect for travelers who wanted to do some historic sightseeing with the Kalesa experience in Vegan. Hey! 
Cost of the Kalesa ride is 200 pesos. So after the ride, we got something to eat and decided to ride it again. I do recommend if you are visiting the Philippines on the island of Luzon to visit the historical town of Vigan and stay at the Vigan Plaza Hotel. Thank you for joining me and watching this video. Until next time, when possible, go outside and explore.